For today's Mobility Minute, we're going to talk about the four tests that you want to do if you want to analyze your squat mobility to see if you have mobility problems that are restricting your squat or not. The first thing we're going to look at is ankle mobility. So we're going to get in this bottom of a lunge position. I'm going to get my big toe position one hand width away from the wall. We're going to see if we have the ability to touch our kneecap to the wall while keeping our heel flat on the ground. If you can do that, you have adequate dorsiflexion mobility to get to a bottom position of a squat. Also make sure that as you're doing that, your foot's not rotating outward, your foot's not collapsing inward, and again, make sure that heel is staying flat on the ground and not rising up. Uh, next test, we're gonna look at your knee flexion. So do you have the ability to bend your knee back far enough that your calf touches your hamstring? If you do, you have enough knee mobility to get to the bottom of the squat. After that, we'll look at hip flexion. Can you lie on your back, you get your hands on your posterior your thigh? Can you pull your knee, your thigh, to your chest? If your thigh, if your quad muscle could hit your abdomen or chest, then you have enough hip flexion to get to a bottom position of a squat. We can get a little bit more in depth and look at hip internal rotation, hip external rotation. Uh, we've talked about hip internal rotation in a previous episode. Um, those will affect your ability to get down to a bottom of a position of a squat, but if you have that much hip flexion, you can get into a squat. It might not be perfect, but it's going to be pretty doggone good. If you pass those three tests and you're still like, Zach, I can't get to the bottom position of a squat. I really struggle. I feel like I don't have the mobility I need. Then what's going on with you is you're actually dealing with more of a stability and motor control issue than we are mobility. What I mean by that is you have the joint mobility to get in the positions you need to. Your body just doesn't understand how to do that. It doesn't know how to control that motion. So a good test for that, as well as a good treatment for learning how to regain that motor control, is to use a goblet squat. So we're going to hold a kettlebell at chest level, get your squat stance, and squat down. Does holding that kettlebell help you get deeper into a squat? If it does, then you've got more of a motor control issue. What the kettlebell is doing is it's giving you a little assistance. It's providing a counterbalance for you to help you find your center point of balance as you squat to make it easier for you to get into a squat position. So you can use kettlebells, goblet squats as part of your warm up to get you prepped for squatting. Um, you can progress from using a heavier weight to a lighter weight, which provides you less assistance. Or you could do a goblet squat where you squat down, then place the goblet, the kettlebell in the bottom. I'm going to slowly release my hands and try to use less and less assistance really try to fight to hold that bottom position if I can, and then stand up. That makes a great tool for repatterning your squat, reteaching your body how to get in that bottom position and return back to upright. 